that's a that's what the Lord told me to do. He said, go to go to Philadelphia. He said, go to Philadelphia, and he said, decree what I what I said to you. So here's what I'm going to tell you: when when the Lord, he said, I want you to look up the history of the Liberty Bell. But first, before I go into it, guys, let Anna uh, bring up uh, read Leviticus twenty five ten. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year. And proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you. And you shall return every man unto his possession. And you shall return every man unto his family. The Lord said, the last time that Liberty Bell rang was on the celebration of George Washington's 50th birthday. Okay. 50th birthday, I believe it was this 50th birthday, and it never rang again. Oh, wow. So the Liberty Bell in our nation has been silent all these years. And the Lord said, daughter, prophesy and decree over this nation that I will ring that Liberty Bell. I will cause the Liberty Bell to ring throughout the land. Let freedom ring. Why do we say this in our nation? Let freedom ring. They engrave Leviticus 25 verse 10 on the Liberty Bell, which is a symbol of that liberty and the victory of our declaration of independence rooted in the righteousness and the living word of God. And I feel like roaring right now. Praise God, because that's why the Lord said, do you hear me, O nation of the earth? Do you hear me? I am breaking the yoke of the enemy and I will cause the Liberty Bell to ring again in the land for the people will know in this nation that I am the one that brings liberty for where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty, but there is no liberty outside of my spirit. I want you to understand that that Liberty Bell, the enemy, that spirit of Baal over our nation, that Babylonian spirit silenced that Liberty Bell, not because it was just a bell that symbolizes liberty, but because my word is engraved on that bell. My Ooh. word for liberty, for my people that come into holy habitation with me. My God, and the Lord said, this is why I'm saying in my instruments, my sons and daughters will not be silent for they will be that sound of freedom, that sound of freedom that breaks the snares of injustice that has strangled the heart of this nation. We are rising up and saying, no, there will be no more silence in our land. And we are decreeing, matter of fact, all of you right now, that you are the remnant of God. You are warriors. You are those intercessors and watchmen on the wall. My God, the Lord is saying, listen, blow the shofar and decree Leviticus 25.10. It's surfacing from the root of this nation again. I just feel the Lord wants me to and just amplify that right now, that, that, that he's roaring this. He's making known what he's brooding over going, listen, that Liberty Bell, you understand something? It is in a case. It's confined. It is, it is, it is, it is almost like a mockery of the enemy going, look what I boxed in. My God, you know how I've talked about God breaking boxes. Okay. He's smashing boxes of man-made doctrine. He's, he's, he's destroying everything that is boxed his people in and it is mockery. And remember what God said? He said, I'm a God that shall not be mocked. Have you heard to kill a mockingbird, a uh -huh, operation mockingbird and the way they want to, to confine that Liberty bell as a mockery to say, look what we've silenced in your nation. Uh, uh, 